Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jan back with another My Team video. You can see here on the screen, Pink Diamond Roy Hibbert's card data is in the game. The gauntlet update hasn't hit. It's currently 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. So we're about 90 minutes out from getting the requirements for this Roy Hibbert. I'm not sure what game mode he's going to be in, obviously. Um, but we can take a look at the ratings and I will show you um, why I think he could be an offline card. The last three grinds have been what we've had triple threat online for Chris Bosch. And then I believe we had clutch time online for um, uh, Joe Johnson. And I believe it was 12 and 0 and unlimited for, um, oh my gosh, Lamar Odom, I'm blanking on. I should have had my coffee before I started recording this video. And uh, so now all we're left with for online play, I believe, is salary cap and triple threat online co-op. So maybe they'll pick one of those two. Maybe they'll make it an offline grind. Who knows? Let's take a look at the ratings, though, very, very quickly. First and foremost, he comes with 17 Hall of Fame badges. I'm not going to go through every single badge. You guys can do that. I'm sure everyone who's watching this video has already been on 2KDB and has seen the card. Um, Ratings-wise, I feel like he's maybe a little bit better than I thought he was going to be. I mean, that 72 three-point shot is definitely workable. Um, one thing that I heard is going to make this card really difficult to use, however, is the jump shot. Uh, I have not used Roy Hibber in any capacity this year. I believe he has like a Sapphire card, maybe. Um, and uh, his jump shot, we can take a look at it on 2KDB here briefly. Uh, right here, you can see that Roy Hibber has uh brooke lopez base uh and vince carter upper normal timing again i'm not very very familiar with these all i know is that when people were talking about him uh last week when they revealed roy hibbert to be coming through the blog one of the first complaints i heard was that they need to change that base from brooke lopez and um they did not so we'll see how useful this card is going to be ultimately but i think he's going to be a really fun card my only issue with this roy hibbert card is the fact that um last season we got so many centers and i mean power forwards i guess too i mean i've already gone through the list a number of times and i'm probably now going to forget half the names but i mean last season we had kevin garnett hakeem Olajuwon, and chet holmgren all as cards you could grind the game and earn for free we had um diamond david robinson who funny enough is the deal of the day we had um Wembanyama, obviously and you know, I still feel like we're going to be, you know, we had Greg Oden come out recently too. And that Greg Oden card is really good. The Kenny Matumbo's uh, Diamond Evo is also pretty damn solid. So, you know, this <clears throat> this Roy Hibbert kind of joins a really crowded locker room at center where, you know, in the last month alone, we've gotten, you know, two handfuls of um, really, really strong center cards. So, you know, we'll have to see what game mode they put him in. Um, I'm kind of hoping they make this an offline grind just to make it fun. But then again, we had the Chet Holmgren grind that could have been done all offline. So maybe they'll put him into co-op, you know, triple threat online co-op. And then we'll see what the, re what the requirement is going to be, how many wins in a row. Um, but we'll see. If he does go into that mode, I'll have to hit up Harry and see if we want to grind for this car together or not. Um, but anyways, we'll have to wait and see on that. Before I get into the rest of the video, which is basically just going to be me updating you on where I'm at with my agendas, I want to take a quick second to plug um, this site, the Streamer Awards. The nominations close this Friday. Um, I don't really stream on Twitch all that much by myself. Whenever I'm streaming on Twitch on the Brock Cindy channel, it's with my partner in crime, Tony. Um, if you only watch my, my My Team videos, then you'll know that Tony is the person who you see on camera when it's not me. Um, and he's been killing it, especially on Twitch lately. Um, and I'm really proud of him and I'm proud of us and all the work that we've put in um, to you know all aspects of Brock Cindy content creation. So um, if you want to support us um, for the Streamer Awards nominations, you just go on this website right here, streamerawards.com slash nominations. All you need is a Gmail account. Once you log in, um, you can, you know, nominate whoever you want, obviously, but if you would like to, you know, give us, you know, a snowball's chance in hell of, uh, winning one of the awards, I think this hidden gem award, um, which is supposed to highlight, uh, you know, a channel or in this case streamer with 
under 100 average viewers during 2023, um, we'd really appreciate it. So uh, with that said, just want to get that out of the way. Um, I've been able to put in a fair amount of um, grinding towards these Inferno agendas, and uh, I've been waiting to redeem these for you guys to see. So let's go ahead uh, and hop into this. You can see we got the Pink Diamond AK-47. Um, I did change sort of like two-thirds of the way in how I was getting my triple doubles. I ended up sticking with triple threat offline, but what I ended up doing was instead of going for the points, rebounds, and blocks, um, I ended up going for points, rebounds, and assists with two bigs. So I would do two, um, I would do two triple doubles basically in one game, and I found that to be a little more efficient for me as long as I was really smart with like managing the score. So uh, there were a couple of times where I gave up wide open threes that thankfully bricked because had they gone in, it would have ruined all my progress. Um, but I was able to do it with Emerald Bull Bull and Emerald Larry Sanders. So that was really helpful um, to get it done a little quicker. So AK-47 is home. Along with him is Pink Diamond, Steph Curry. Uh, I was able to play Clutch Time online a good amount yesterday. I got my five wins. I got the James Jones card. Um, I actually streamed my uh, my clutch time online games. I barely stream solo as it is, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, I took that James Jones card into clutch time offline to farm four pointers. And that card, his jump shot is so money. Um, you don't even need to run that Warriors play I was talking to you about. You can literally give him the ball, bring the ball up the floor with him, and then just like literally stop at the four point line and pull up. And at least on semi pro difficulty. Um, his jump shot is so easy to green so uh that james jones card was getting me like 10 four pointers a game you know for the last like you know five six games and uh he's great so if you can uh go and win those clutch time online games get that james jones card and if you still need the four pointers use him and thank me later um what else do we have okay jairus walker no one cares and we got a token so the update you can see here i have basically I mean, I'm exactly where I thought I was going to be best case scenario, which was having all of the non-diamond Inferno agendas done because the diamond agendas, I mean, I, I did kind of call it, I mean, then again, so did a lot of other people. Um, but specifically, I said that I thought that the diamond agendas, I thought at least three of them would be insane and multiplayer heavy. And if you look, they're actually all <laughs> multiplayer related uh, for the diamonds and they're all a little annoying. I was able to get 10 steals from the seven or so clutch time online games I played yesterday. Um, I got a good number of dunks from those games too. I've not played any triple threat online. The reason why I made this video for Roy Hibbert right now and not in an hour and a half when the uh, when the requirements drop, um, and I will put out another video at that point to cover what those are very quickly as like an update to this video. Um, but uh, I wanted to bring Pink Diamond Steph Curry into a triple threat online and use him because it's uh you need to make 103 pointers with shooting guards and i believe steph curry is both eligible at point guard and shooting guard so um i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to do and then the salary cap games what, I, what i'm trying to say is you know i'm off today obviously it's mlk day and um i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a very busy day of work tomorrow and so I'm trying to see how feasible is it for me to put a pretty serious dent into this just to give me a shot at the T-Mac. If I play a few games and I find that the steals are becoming really, really difficult to get, because again, in clutch time on, on, online, they're really easy. But again, in seven games, I only got 10 steals. Uh, I don't really, the defense that I like to play is not one that's very aggressive and forces steals. So I may not be able to get T-Mac even if I try. But you know, we're going to give it a shot. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw Steph Curry into the TT online lineup. I'm not going to play a game with him right now. I want to practice his jump shot. Um, we will go ahead and put Steph and Curry here. And I need another shooting guard. I guess I will not bring Chet online. Um, you know, funny enough, I know a lot of people don't like the Jimmy Butler's jump shot, but I like it. For some reason, when I was playing Clutch Time online yesterday, he was the only guy who greened every single one of his three-pointers for me. I could not green a shot with anyone else in my lineup for the life of me, and I think that speaks to how little online I've played this year. So uh, I'm going to go and take these guys into Triple Threat online, and um, we'll see. Also, really quickly, if you're still grinding the assists and salary cap, an idea that I had last night before I logged off... Where's my salary cap lineup? 
Oh, it updated. Okay, great. So I got to go in and uh, make a few changes here, it looks like. Uh, which is fine. I'll change this lineup later. This lineup was actually, like, it was, I think it was 500 under the cap last night. So they made some changes that I have to go in and adjust. Um, but basically, what I may end up doing is I really want to have a bunch of players that are, um, that are point guard eligible in my salary cap lineup. So I think bringing in a two point guard backcourt for both your starters and bench in salary cap is going to be the move, especially one um, that like, I mean, sorry, especially ones that can play defense and, you know, like, like Jason Kidd. I like Jason Kidd because he can play defense and he's Hall of Fame diamond. That's all I was trying to say. Um, I have to learn to have my coffee before these recordings. My brain is farting all over the place right now. Like, I'm happy to bring Jason Kidd. I'll bring in someone else probably in place of Gerald Wallace. Um, and the same thing here. I have Pat Bev, who's Evoed, and then Herbert Jones. I'll probably replace him with the point guard. And then also, if you really, really want to try... Um, I don't know if you really need to do this, but because it's kind of you like making your team worse just for the sake of getting those assists with point guards. We have two power forwards, I believe, that are point guard eligible. Both are Sapphire. You have the uh, Ben Simmons and you have the Jeremy Sohan card. Both cards, Jeremy Sohan and uh, Ben Simmons, both are power forward point guard eligible. If you play them at power forward and you get an assist with them, then you know that's going to add to the 150. So I'm just trying to think of ways that can help us get assists with point guards as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have for you right now. So um, sorry this video was kind of all over the place. I had like a couple of updates since the weekend that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'll be back in roughly an hour and 30 minutes with the uh, updated agenda or updated gauntlet requirements for that pink diamond Roy Hibbert. And uh, we'll see if it actually is worth it to grind for that card or not. Because you can argue that we haven't had a gauntlet that, that's been worth grinding since the uh, the Chris Bosch. Which was the very first gauntlet ever. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching as always. Appreciate you guys. If you're off today, hopefully you can enjoy. Take it easy. And if you're at work, I, I'm really sorry. Hopefully it's not too crazy of a day for you. Appreciate you. Until next time, I'll see you later.